Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's October 21st, 2022. It's Friday, which means it's mail day. It means mail week. It means, holy smokes, look at all the stuff that showed up this week. It is the biggest week I've ever had. 36 items have shown up. Um, I'm going to try to go through them all with you. There's some stuff that uh, is going to make it into another video in the future uh, because there's just so much going on here. Uh, so happy for uh, everything that's come in. Some people say, wow, you're popular. Um, that's not what I think. I think, wow, am I lucky to have people that are willing to swap with me, who are willing to send um, surprises, and I thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, you guys are a great community. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope uh, what I do to help uh, support the Post Crossing community, the Lego community, whatever, uh, have you uh, supporting New Brunswick uh, tourism for Canada. These are all things that I want to do and uh, hopefully people get excited when they see the videos and uh, either want to participate in become Post Crossers too, want to start collecting stamps, maybe want to buy an odd Lego set here and there, or want to travel to Atlantic Canada and see the beauty for themselves. That's kind of what I'm hoping people get from watching this channel. So what I want to do is get into all this. I have seven official ones that came from Post Crossing, uh, and then the rest is all swaps, friend mail, and all the rest. So we're going to get into this. Sit back, make sure you're nice and comfy, because this is going to be a long video. All right, my first official one is this card here. It comes from Germany. Um, he says uh, that uh, he really loves my YouTube channel and your way of presenting Post Crossing. Uh, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate the uh, the kind words. Uh, his name his name is Beal, and um, this is where they're from. He said these three castles that you can see here. Uh, the oldest is dating back to the 16th century, surrounded by lovely gardens and terraces, which offer beautiful views of the valley. So it looks amazing. I love Germany. There's so much history there, and. Uh, had a great time when my wife and I got to go there many years ago, and hopefully we'll get a get chance to go back again one day. All right, my next card is this nice little hedgehog card. It comes from Philman. Uh, Philman. <laughs> it comes from Finland. I'm gonna trip over my own words here. Um, she's from a small town in Finland. During the summer, she actually has a hedgehog that comes to their garden to look for food. It says by now it's. Uh, getting ready for the winter and nesting away and hibernates for about six months and then start to see them again. So that's cool that she has a wild hedgehog that comes to their house to look for food. I'm going to show you the stamp. It is a finished stamp I have not yet seen. That one there, very nice. I forgot to tell you in my haste, there's the German stamps that came. And some of these, the stamps are just as important as the postcards just because of some of the themings that come along. All right. Here we have one from Germany, a nice Star Wars postcard. He says, uh, in the free time, he likes to read books, travel, and uh, loves dogs and guinea pigs. So thank you for that. There is the stamp, or the stampsa, plural. Okay, this next one also comes from Germany. We've got a Lego card. So this is the Lego Mustang that came out. Uh, this comes from Torrenson. He's 57 years old. He's from a small town with 5,000 citizens in it. He likes music of very different, various different styles. He likes romantic movie, watching soccer. Uh, he's, he also he uh, sorry. He also sent me this post crossing stamp. So this is the new German post crossing stamp that most of you have probably seen, and some of you maybe have already received. So happy to have received it. Uh, it was funny, I wrote back to Torrenson to say thank you so much for the card and the stamp and that uh, I was going to talk about it on my YouTube channel and uh, he wrote back and said, yay, I'm going to be famous. Uh, you're probably not going to be famous, but if you're watching this, hopefully you're happy enough to, to see it. Um, I really appreciate the stamp and the Lego card and the thought that went into both, so thank you so much. All right, the next card comes from the United States. We've got a greetings from Illinois card and you can see in each one of the letters, different scenes from Illinois. Um, he's in, uh, this is Sasha, he's 24 years old. Uh, favorite time of year is right now in the autumn with the leaves changing colors. Uh, said that she's, she's visited 22 countries but haven't been to Canada yet. 
Hey, you're so close to Canada, you've got to come north of the border. You've got to see, if you've been to 22 countries, Canada should be one of the ones on your list. So hopefully, Sasha, you'll get a chance to come to New Brunswick, you come to Canada. Um, here are the stamps. I really love the Save Our Water stamp. I hadn't seen that one before, but put three stamps on, uh, which was nice because she had enough postage here. She just added the other two, so I really appreciate that she's uh, gone the extra mile and added some extra postage that uh, I would enjoy the stamps. So thank you, Sasha. All right, so the next card comes from the United States. It is another one of those greetings ones. We just had a Greetings Illinois. These both showed up on the same day. This is Greetings Rhode Island. Rhode Island isn't that far from where I am in New Brunswick. If you go down the map through Maine and Massachusetts and Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, you'll hit Rhode Island. This comes from Gary, and uh, he's very close to Brown University. He's so close that he can see them practice uh, uh, sports from his uh, house. And he's a beekeeper too, so that's kind of cool. And then on the back, he's included two of the Peanuts stamps. So we've got some uh, good ones there with Linus. So thank you so much for that. And support of the Ukraine there too. We, I love seeing those stickers and stamps and things showing up. We have a World Postcard Day, one that came from the United States. He said, your life sounds interesting. I've never met anyone who's had a hedgehog as a pet. I've made it to Canada several times, twice to Ontario and twice to British Columbia. Ontario and British Columbia are two provinces. British Columbia is on the west coast. Ontario is kind of in the middle. And uh, here in New Brunswick, we're on the east coast. So he has married and kids, but no grandchildren yet. He said he collected stamps when he was small. Um, he said, uh, do I collect any U.S. stamps? So my father's collection does have U.S. stamps in it. Not very many mint stamps as I talked about here, but um, you know, every once in a while. My father basically collected whatever he could get his hands on. Uh, he loves seeing stamps from around the world, and now we have the collection here, and I'm slowly trying to show it off as well so you can get an appreciation of what he's uh, has collected over the years. There's the forever stamp that he's included on his World Postcard Day card. Uh, so thank you, Joseph, for that. All right. So that's it for my registered ones. Now we're getting into my swaps and friend mail that have shown up. This first one is coming from Finland. Uh, this comes from Caroline, and uh, she's got all these Finnish hockey players on there. We're into hockey season now. Baseball season's still going on. Basketball and hockey just started up. So lots of sports happening right now. Football's on here too. So if you love sports, this is kind of the time of year where uh, everything is happening all at once. Um, she uh, put a, a very nice message on the back and I like this stamp. I hadn't seen this finished stamp either, where you kind of have a postal worker working at the desk. I assume it's a postal worker. Maybe it's a, a member of the military, too, writing a letter. You tell me. You let me know what this stamp represents. All right. Thank you, Caroline. All right. This one is kind of a Halloween card. Uh, this one comes from our friend Lewis in uh, the United Arab Emirates. He's in Dubai now. He's included all those stamps. Very nice. We've got some Halloween stickers and things in there too. We're going to start seeing that with October 31st being the Halloween season here. I know not every country in the world uh, participates in Halloween. Uh, I got a message not too long ago from someone in Germany that said, uh, actually it's probably one of the upcoming cards uh, where I got this information from, um, that uh, it's only really been happening since the early 90s for them that they've been having it. So their children understand Halloween and are excited by it. But uh, as for them, they don't have memories of a child of having Halloween. So we're going to get into that. All right. Another one from Lewis showed up. We've got a Star Wars card. And here we've got some cool stamps. I like these circular stamps. Anything that's kind of a shaped stamp, I really enjoy over the traditional uh, square rectangle one you have. Uh, this card was sent on World Postcard Day, October 1st. It was 36 degrees in Dubai the day that Lewis sent this. It's 13 degrees here today, and we still feel pretty lucky. The sun's out, it's gonna be a nice weekend, probably in around uh, 15 to 19 degrees all weekend. Happy with that for the middle of October. All right, moving along. This one comes from Julianne, and Julianne is in Germany. Trying to flip this around. The card goes one way and the writing goes a different way on the back. So we can see all these pumpkins. And Julianne was actually the one that talked about uh, not growing up with with the Halloween. But the kids did. And they give out candy now. 
So it's spreading around. So thank you, Julianne, for that. All right, this next card is a Post Crossing Stamp Launch Festival Meetup Post Crossing. All right, so this comes from Estonia. This is uh, Andre in Estonia has sent this card to me. He was at the uh, Post Crossing event. You can see the stamp mark on the front of the postcard and the launching of a Post Crossing stamp from Estonia. See that? And we've got cancellation marks there. We've got all the people that attended. Huge amount of people were at this meetup. Now you got Andre at the top. So thank you, Andre, for thinking of me, sending me the meetup card for that. I was excited to get a uh, post-crossing stamp. And, you know, now we've got two of them. We flip back, 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 back. There we go. Estonia and Germany. Two very different postcards or post stamps, but uh, exciting ones to have post-crossing stamps. So excited that uh, Maria from Finland was actually at the same one. So she got a card too. She sent it to me. So not one but two cards from the meetup in Estonia. The two stamps. Super excited. You know what's are super excited or even better about it? Media sent me an envelope with the stamp with the cancellation mark. Um, so I feel very blessed that people were thinking about me uh, and sending those to me. Here we've got a nice Halloween card with the pumpkins. The witch's hat on the mailbox, anything mailbox related, you know, it's going to go over well with me as a mailman. Then she sent this fairy card who is talking to a little hedgehog. And then finally, this Talon in Estonia, we've got this card here. Look at that beautiful arch. So thank you, Media, for uh, sending a few cards. And uh, the post-crossing stamps, super cool. All right, this next one is a Hello World Postcard Day. It was actually last year's card, but showed up uh, this year for me. Uh, it was even postmarked with Snoopy, and there's a stamp. And this is from Lila in the United States. Uh, she was kind enough to send me that card with a super interesting uh, cancellation mark on it. Now, I'm gonna find it again. I'll find it later, but Lila did send a second card. I don't have it here in order. Uh, it must have fallen out. All right, here is Born to be Wild, the Sloths uh, celebrating a party. This is kind of a one for my birthday, so I'm very happy with this birthday card that showed up. This comes from Anita, and Anita is in Austria. And there we have a nice Austrian stamp with the hat and the flag. So thank you for that. This one all is um, postal related. We've got the postmaster, we've got the mailman or uh, the mailboxes, the letters, the stamps, the trucks, uh, the post office. And uh, this comes from Leave and Tamara and uh, they're in the Netherlands, or at least that's where they've sent it from. There are the, uh, the stamps with the nice windmills. So thank you so much for that. You can see all the people that were at the meetup all stamped it too. Sometimes one of the funs when you see a card, now this one clearly indicated who it was from, but sometimes you get a bunch of the meetup ones and they're all stamped and you got to try to figure out which stamp is the person that you know. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not so easy. I like to, when I send out my uh, meetup cards, is put a little arrow pointing at me. This is the person that sent it. All right, we have another one. World Postcard Day. Look at all these cancellation marks. Uh, what reminded me of this one is Andre in Estonia. This isn't from Andre. This comes from Kara in the United States. But Andre in Estonia used to take blank cards and go around and get cancellation put over it. And then when the card was finished and filled up with cancellation marks, he would turn it into a postcard and send it. I love that idea. But Kara has created this one. And on the back, we have the United States stamp there. We have her wax seal at the bottom. So thank you so much, Kara, for thinking of me. I'm really loving these World Postcard Day cards, especially the ones that people are taking the time to create themselves. Here we have a meetup that happened in Seattle. This comes from Keeks Wanderer. You may uh, follow her. Um, she's in Seattle. She has Instagram. And uh, so that is that. And on the back, we have all the people that were in attendance and the forever stamp that was used. So thank you, Keeks, for all of uh, thinking of me when going to your meetup. We have another meetup. 
Well, this one here is in the California. So this happened in Pasadena. And uh, this comes from a super trooper, Kristen in Texas. She made the journey to California to go to this meetup and uh, thought of me and sent me a card. That is her stamp right there with a Chewbacca stamp. I have someone at the door. Give me one moment. All right, that doesn't happen very often where I have to stop the video in between, but this was important that I didn't uh, miss the person at the door. My son ordered some shoes and they've arrived. So what I didn't expect was having to pay $47 in um, taxes to receive them. So I'm gonna pass along that cost to my son because he bought these uh, shoes for himself. So that's what happened. So anyways, back to what we're here for, postcards. And here is the next one. It comes from Eliza. And uh, this one's from the Netherlands. This is a card that she created for World Postcard Day. So I really appreciate the effort that's gone into this. I really like it. If you look at the skyline that's created, within that skyline, can you see all the animals that are in there? That to me is some very creative work. And the more I stare at, the more I find new things that are in there. Then I'm gonna here. I'm gonna put that at the top. Postcards and paper crafts. So if you want to find her, uh, that's where you can find her. There are the stamps, the hedgehog. But uh, she's super creative, and uh, I really appreciate the effort that went into that card. And another World Postcard Day card. Uh, this one comes from our friend Fernando. So hopefully you're watching Fernando on his YouTube channel, uh, Fernando Ferreira. And uh, he's got a good postcard or a good uh, YouTube channel. You should go check him out. There's his Portugal stamp there. You can see he's indicated that FF is him. And there are all the other people that were in attendance for it. So thank you. This next one is a shape card. We've got a nice big bear. You know, it doesn't have this, but that's my, uh, my new way of doing things. And I really appreciate this one's from Jessica before I forget. She's in the United States. Here are the stamps that Jessica has put on for me. And uh, she says, while we were in Michigan, a mama bear and her two cubs visited our property. We see bears somewhat frequently here. I think it's so neat, but our dog doesn't really like it. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Um, yeah, we don't see, bears are around, but I haven't seen a bear in a very long time. And in the city, I don't see them very often at all. So, but I have seen them out in the more rural areas. So glad you were safe from the bears, but thank you, Jessica, for that, for the stamps, especially the Smokey stamp, Smokey the bear right there. And uh, none of the stamps were canceled. And if you'll notice, these uh, recipe cards and the paper clips are working great. So thank you, Eric, for that suggestion to replace sticky notes. Um, I'm now not going through nearly as much paper doing it this way and get to reuse them all the time. So I think it is a, a good uh, environmental change. So I'm happy that uh, it's working out. All right, we've got another World Postcard Day meetup card. This one here. It's uh, coming from Steffi in Germany. And he said, greetings from her first post-crossing meetup. It's been a great day so far. So... Hopefully she had a great time at it. This was on the border of the Netherlands. There's the stamp. There is one of the uh, stampers for it. And I really like the gnome painted on the rock. I have someone here, uh, Kelly. She used to work at Canada Post and she did some paintings on rocks and did a really great job with them. So I can really appreciate that one there as well. All right, this next one is for the 40th anniversary of our queen who uh, recently passed away. And so this comes from Julie Norman. She has a YouTube channel. You'll have to check out hers if you aren't already. And uh, I'm really glad to receive this card, uh, original one from uh, the Royal Mail. Here are the stamps with the Buzz Lightyear stamp there and some rural barns and things. Cancellation mark. Yeah, it meant a lot to uh, to see that card show up in the mail. Still have feelings about her passing away, I guess. All right. This next one is a Halloween card. This comes from Nina in Alberta. 
she is a fantastic artist. Um, you have to go to La Coustache, so at L-A-K-U-S-T-A-S-H on Instagram. Check out all her artwork. She has a shop as well, so if there's things you'd like to get, uh, she has something there. She used one of the uh, um, haunt stamps that were came out. And she's got lots of washi tape decorated up nicely. All right, this next one, ooh, be careful. Here, this one comes from Linda in Georgia in the United States. And uh, she's got some of these Day of the Dead mask stamps that came out. And, uh, got the black cat and the crow in the window. They're really nice. So inside though, she sent this Halloween postcard. Very shiny, I really like that. And she included the other stamps. So this is a set of four and uh, we got them all, I guess. And then another, looks almost like the Headless Horseman stamp going on there. I guess that's exactly what it is, the Headless Horseman riding through. So thank you, Linda, for including all those stamps for me. She is a huge stamp person. She's actually Stamp Gal is what she goes by. So thank you, Linda. Linda wasn't done though. She sent me another envelope. Cool architecture stamps, not been canceled. In that, she sent another postcard. So we have this one with all the states in the uh, making up the stripes. On the back, she actually put real stamps on there. So we've got some superheroes. We've got Superman and the Flash stamps. And then she included something else, but it's going to be for a future stamp video. So I'm going to put that one aside to know that we're going to do more with that one. All right, I was talking about Lila sending a second card. So here's Lila in the United States. She sent me this Star Wars card. Uh, this book uh, is fantastic, talking about young Luke Skywalker. There's one that has young Princess Leia. I got one, too, that has a uh, Rey. And uh, it's just cute seeing all the things. You know, we got Darth Vader sitting with his son, Luke, and uh, Splurt goes the food onto the head of the person sitting next to him. You can see the cancellation mark. This one came cool because it came in a cellophane wrapper with a cardboard backing so the card didn't get damaged and uh, had that really neat cancellation on it. So thank you, Lila. All right, this next one is a original. This comes from Jessie in Puerto Rico. She creates all these cards herself. So she does the time to go on to Canva. Recently, um, she put out a video showing how she creates all her cards and she has a printer that uh, she prints them off on. Last time she sent me a couple stamps that had to do with Puerto Rico. These were the two stamps. So she's included them on the card this time and they're canceled. We've got the Headless Horseman stamp again that was just shown recently. And same with these ones here. So love the Halloween stamps, but really enjoy the Puerto Rican stamps as well. So thank you, Jesse, for thinking of me and sending me this card. Well, it's great having another person to exchange cards with and chit chat with. All right. Speaking of that, we have another World Postcard Day. This is created by Nicole in Ohio. Uh, Nicole, too, is also very artistic and uh, does a great job with her cards. And uh, look at this stamp the triangle one. It's lovely, lovely. And then we've got the boats, we've got the new car, drag cars that are out now. Uh, muscle cars, if you will, the, the bone shaker, it's called. So she talks about we're having a wonderful community here, and that's how we met, uh, is through this post-crossing community. And i uh, very thankful for this community every day that uh, the people that reach out, send me messages, interact. Uh, Nicole is one of them, so I appreciate her friendship and uh, her sending me that card with those stamps. And someone else I appreciate is this Renee Lewis. You've got to follow her on YouTube. She does great post-crossing things as well. Um, this card is actually a scene in Prince Edward Island. So uh, this is the area view of East Point Lighthouse on the eastern tip of Prince Edward Island, which is not very far from where I am. Um, she says she saw this postcard in her stash and wondered if the area still looked the same or if it's grown up a bit and grown up a bit. Uh, Prince Edward Island usually stays pretty much the same. Uh, I don't have uh, aerial evidence of what it looks like right now, but you, I would say it's probably very similar. Um, 
those people from Prince of Rail that watch the channel, either Kyler or Renee, if you ever get a picture of East Point Lighthouse as it is today, I would love if you post it on here so people can see what it looks like now. There's the forever stamp that Renee used. So check out Renee Lewis on uh, YouTube. All right. My next one is an envelope. We've got this mariachi bands. This comes from Smokey. And uh, Snail Mail with Smokey is another YouTube channel you guys have to go look at. He's recently started up and he's putting out great content. He puts out post-crossing things and he puts out stamp things as well. And I'm going to show you the card, the hello card that he sent. And he sent some other things in there too. I'm going to show you this. Doo, doo, doo. There's his logo, Snail Mail with Smokey. But he has included some stamp things, so that's going to show up on another video too. Put that aside. So thank you, Smokey. Next one is a package from Judy, and she's in Florida. And Judy, Judy sense. Straight here. She sent me a whole bunch of World Postcard Day cards. These are blank ones. I didn't print any out this year, so it was kind of great that she sent me a bunch. So uh, I can either use these to send out to people that haven't received one this, this year. Uh, I can do that, or I can use them next year, even though they'll be a last year one. They could be overflow for me. So thank you, Judy, for that. Judy also sends this before it falls on the ground. Um, she said she found some more dual country stamps. I'm so excited to share them. Uh, thank you so much for the beautiful Seaside Harbor painting and postcard that I sent her. And these are the ones she said. Samuel de Champlain, 1606 Voyage. So we have the stamps that Canada put out and the stamps that the United States put out, which you can see are virtually the same on a full sheet. Get them nice and close so you can see them. So thank you, Judy, for thinking of me, sending that stamp, or stamps, and all those cards as well that we can use here in the future. And then this big parcel showed up from Skyestia in Lithuania. Uh, we have been uh, trading back and forth postcards. We did do one box exchange in the past where I kind of sent her some treats and things from Canada, and she did the same in return. Uh, this one now, I have no idea really what's in it. Um, so I'm going to open this on another video so you can see. And then the last card, which I'm keeping as a special one. This one comes from my daughter, who is away at university. She created, she's very artistic, she created this happy birthday card with the Lego bricks on it and a very nice message inside that's just for me. And she also sent some postcards. So we have a map postcard of Canada and a bunch of animals and things you might find going across the country. So that's a new one to send out. We have this Montreal postcard where she's located right now. You can see the uh, fairground there just off the on the island, just off the main city. We have Montreal in the wintertime, which not looking forward to winter when it comes. And uh, she'll be in for a surprise moving through for her first winter in Montreal, too, I imagine. And then we have this beautiful card here of old Montreal. Beautiful city, and I'm glad she's having a great time there and uh, getting her education and thinking of me on my birthday. So thank you so much, Dea, for that. That is my amazing week of mail that has come through. I've got more videos I guess I have to do that are going to be stamp related or parcel related. Uh, so look forward to that. Also, tomorrow is that dad guy answer. So make sure today you get in your questions so I can um, have them all ready when I get up tomorrow to create the video. Those questions will all be there. The last one I think was episode 36, part 36. So just go to last Saturday's video. Make sure you put your questions there and I'll answer them for tomorrow. That's what I got. Oh, wow, it's a long video, but so many amazing things came through today. Uh, new post-crossing stamps, new uh, People's World Postcard Day creations that came through, parcels. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you guys do and uh, keep this channel going and uh, promoting it, people that are sharing it. Um, I really appreciate it, really appreciate the growth. So thank you so much. I can't say it enough. But you guys, have a magical week. Like, follow. 
you say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?